welcome back to the channel. Today I have a quick walk around video on this 2020 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack in this very nice black color. This has the 392 engine and it sounds amazing. It's also sporty and it's one of our certified pre-owned vehicles here at Hertrick Honda Kia in Easton, Maryland. It comes with a seven year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. Absolutely insane on this vehicle. Um, we're gonna get this video started right now, but before we do that, I need you to do me one thing. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. It helps me out so, so much. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of awkward silence real quick to subscribe to my channel. And then we're gonna get this video started right now. Let's start the awkward silence right now. Subscribe. All right, let's get this video started right now. All right, so quick start here on the front. Big, boxy front. Scat Pack Challenger. Up here on the front, you're gonna have your headlight design right there. You also have a little flow section right there to give some more air to the engine. A little fog light down there at the bottom. Big broad grill here with Challenger and RT spelled in the front. You also have some hood scoops here. This one is a uh, one that lets air in and then these over here let some, uh, some air out of the, the uh, engine bay there. Uh, so it's gonna keep this uh, engine bay nice and cool. Uh, it makes it the uh, engine breathe very nicely. So coming around you also have these nice gray finished wheels here These are 20 inch wheels. These also do have the wheel lock which is right there to protect your uh, via Your wheels from being ever taken from you. Uh, you got the 392 badge right there on the side Nice black paint color here on this scat pack Coming around the back here Again, you got the boxy styling here on the back of the Challenger. You have these taillights right here and uh, on the other side. And when these are lit up at nighttime, they look fantastic. Exhaust on the bottom there. You also got some sensors down here as well. Backup camera here on this vehicle. And then you'll see Scat Pack spelled there right on the back. And there's the back of the vehicle. Let's uh, jump in this uh, cargo area back here. All right, so starting with the back here, what you're gonna do is with the key in your pocket, gonna come back here, press that little button, and then you can lift up this trunk area and reveal a fairly decent sized trunk area back here. Very nice uh, use of the space here back by Dodge. Um, very nice. You have a little felt lining back here in the cargo area. Um, and this is, uh, you see your carpeted mats down here. And then also down here a little bit further, a little pull tab. And you can lift that up to display a little storage area where you can also get maybe a spare tire back here. And then you also have where your battery location is if you ever need to jump start your Challenger. So very nice use of space back here on the back. And let's jump under what the, a lot of people are gonna think the most important part is the engine area. All right, so engine bay time. So you're gonna see that big V8, the 392 Hemi V8 here, that's producing 485 horsepower. Um, I've driven this vehicle around the lot a few times, and while I will tell you, it will squeal the tires if you're not careful here, um, an absolutely fun vehicle to drive, um, and it, uh, it makes you feel um, like you are driving a sports car, uh, absolutely fun car to drive. Uh, 485 horsepower here on this 392 V8 Hemi engine. Right. So, usually I would do a, the back uh, seat here in this uh, these vehicles, but the Challenger uh, has the coupe style with the two doors. So, uh, we're gonna start out with the front door here. Uh, you'll see you have some black plastic cladding, but a nicely padded armrest here for your arms. Uh, your, your elbows there, you have uh, power windows here for the front two windows. And uh, then you have your power mirror controls here, lock controls. Down a little bit further, you have your handle here to open the door. And then you have a little storage area there for a cup uh, to get your drinks in there. You also have an Alpine sound system here in this vehicle, which sounds fantastic. And then over to the seat here, you have a claw seat with a sport uh, style buckets here. You have uh, power forward backwards, lumbar support, and then you have manually um, for the back portion of this seat here. You'll see right there, nicely padded uh, headrest there. And then you also have your SCAT uh, logo right there 
on the vehicle here. Let's jump to this rear seat and show you that. All right, jumping in the rear seats here on this Scat Pack Challenger. Uh, what I will say is these seats are not made for huge adults. Um, this is really a coupe vehicle um, for you know emergency uses if you need to use the back seat there, but you do still have child anchor uh, locks or seats there, latches. Uh, for your child seats, you'll see the logos right there um, towards the bottom and it does have a little uh, armrest that can fold down and keep three people across the back of the Challenger right there. Let's jump up in this front seat and look at these screens. All right, give you a view out the front of this vehicle. Good view outside of this vehicle for it being a nice sporty uh, muscle car. Coming up to the top here, you do have a nice sunroof here on this model. You also have over here, right in the middle, you have your controls for your um, home link system. You also have the controls or the sunglass holder here for you. You also have an auto dimming rear view mirror right there. And uh, while we're down, let's come on down a little further, but I'm gonna turn the vehicle on, put your foot on the brake and press this button. You will hear it kick up a little bit. And while I got you um, looking down there, um, let me show you the key here for the Challenger Scat Pack. So you have a dodge spot on the back. And then you have unlock, lock, um, two buttons to release the hatch in the back there, two times for the uh, the remote start, and then you also have your panic um, right there as well. Coming up to the touch screen, uh, a very nice touch screen here on this vehicle with two um, air vents right there as well. I'll turn the air down a little bit, but you can uh, go through a whole bunch of different things like your climate control, um, you can go through performance, uh, you got a lot of different things here on this vehicle. You also got your phone hookup um, for this vehicle as well, and everything is surrounded here in this nice, um, you know, finished uh, silver uh, metallic stuff right there. Coming on down a little bit further, you still have that same silver metallic finish. I'm going to turn the air down a little bit here because it's a little cold, I mean a little hot. <laughs> uh, but you have your sound system controls here for volume up and down, you have your hazards, you have your tuning knobs. Um, right there as well. You also have your turn knobs here for the climate control and then dual zone here for the two different sides of the vehicle. Coming down a little bit further, you have a uh, shifter here that uh, goes park, reverse, drive, and you also have a little manual uh, mode that you can also use the paddle shifters that are here on the steer steering wheel. Next to it, you have a little storage area where you can put maybe your phone or some change. And then over here you have two cup holders and then you have a nicely padded armrest here that does have um, two USB ports here and an aux cord right there. And you also have a 12 volt uh, located right there. But a nice little area here where you can put some stuff and it folds down gives you a nice um, center armrest there. Coming on over to the steering wheel you have a nicely wrapped, leather wrapped steering wheel here with some uh, some perforation settings here, or perforation feeling here on both sides. Um, good thick steering wheel in your hand here. You're gonna need it for the control of this vehicle. Um, you have Dodge logo right here in the middle and then also on this side here you have the controls um, for this center cluster. And uh, you have your tachometer and speedometer on the left and right side, but then you also have a digital speedometer. You have uh, you know a whole bunch of different things of diagnosis. You, you have you know a multitude of different things you can go through this center screen and go through. Um, over on the right side of the steering wheel, you have your adapt or you have your cruise control here settings, um, where you can set it, you can cancel it, you can resume it, all that stuff over there. So overall, a very nice vehicle here, and this is located at Hertrick Honda Kia. I did want to show you real quick the uh, certified pre-owned warranty here that Hertrick um, gives you. This is the Hertrick certified pre-owned warranty, and you'll see right down there, it is a seven-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty and a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, mechanical warranty. Um, very nice. It also comes with uh, some rental car reimbursement, some tote coverage, um, and a three-day, 150-mile customer satisfaction guarantee. Um, so very nice. You also can get the free vehicle history report here on this vehicle. Um, you also do have uh, you know all the specs and everything right here on this vehicle, this 2020 Dodge Challenger. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and give me a call. But let's jump out and finish up this video. All righty. Thank you so much for watching this video on this 2020 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Right now, this vehicle is listed for $45,997. It is a certified pre-owned vehicle with a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty. And if you have any questions, feel free to give the dealership a call. It's 410-822-7717. Or you can email me at paul.phillips7 at me.com. If you're in the market for a used car, if you're in the market for a new Honda, new Kia, please hit me up. I'd love to earn your business and help you out. Um, I do also have 20 
manufacturers here in my organization that I can help you get some, uh, some vehicles. So please hit me up. Um, I'd love to earn your business on a new or certified pre-owned or pre-owned vehicle in my inventory. Um, thank you guys again for so, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers and that's my next goal. So please like this video and subscribe. It would greatly uh, help me out so, so much. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.